So this used to be my iMac 27. Bought it new in 2012, upgraded the hard drive to an SSD and put more memory in it. Then I was able to get a really high powered iMac several years later, so I gave this to my brother. About a week ago, my brother called me and said, hey, the iMac shut off while my kid was in the middle of playing Roblox. Can you come take a look at it? All it does right now is it will boot loop. When you turn it on, it will try to boot up, but then it cycles to a white screen and or it will just continuously try to boot over and over. And this is what happens. And it's called boot loop. And then it'll give you this screen right here. So after several, several, several hours and a few days of trying to troubleshoot stuff, seeing if it was any of the mini memory chips or anything, it, I finally determined that I believe it has a bad graphics card, which is built into the logic board. So the logic board is bad. Now the next question is, okay, 2012 IMAX, not worth that much. Can we recover his data? So you have to very, in order to get the hard drive of an iMac, you got to very carefully um, use a device like such or a little wheel that has a little cutting tool on it. And you got to carefully go around the screen of the iMac all around. If you go in too far, you will completely destroy the screen. I did that once when I upgraded this several years ago. I went too far in, went into the electronic board of the screen and destroyed it. So that's a two to $400 mistake. You don't wanna do that. So after separating the screen from the chassis, I was able to go in and retrieve his hard drive, which is an uh, upgraded SSD drive. I think this is two terabytes. And C, if there was any data still left on the drive. This basically turned into a recovery mission. Is this data still on the drive? If so, at least we can save his data. iMac's gone, there's nothing we can do about it. So I went ahead and hooked a hard drive up to my computer. And at first, it would not even recognize the drive. I had a bad feeling that maybe this drive was a, a goner. Problem with solid state drives is they are electronic chips. It's not an actual physical drive. These are more sensitive to electrical surges and stuff. And also, if you don't shut these down correctly, you will wipe out an SSD in a heartbeat. And that's what I was afraid. But eventually it finally pulled up. So we have data and this is good. So hindsight 2020, he can go out right now and buy a replacement computer transfer this drive to his new computer and he's good to go. Or what's the possibility of fixing this one? Now, several years ago, a logic board would run you between 500 to a thousand dollars. So obviously that's not feasible in repair, but since this is a 2012, what are the chances that a logic board is available like on eBay at a lower price? We know the screen is okay because it still powers up. So I didn't damage anything when I took the screen off. To put everything back together, all I need is a screen adhesive. And if I've done everything correctly, all I need is a logic board. Inside the iMac, this is your logic board right here. This is your power supply and of course your two speakers and your cooling fan. Uh, all you have to do is you just carefully separate the screen from the chassis. You remove your speaker, speakers, and then you remove your power supply and then your fan and then the logic board comes right out. 2012 iMac A1419 logic board, i5 with a 3.2 gigahertz processor. This is the exact same motherboard that's on the computer now, $59.99 free shipping. I bought one of these and he's gonna include free screen adhesive so I can put the screen back just like it was factory. Where if I support the screen, because it's already unhooked, if I support the screen enough, I still have room to take stuff off. So we'll start with this speaker over here.
there's the motherboard. All right, we're gonna put this back for now until the mail gets here. Screen adhesives right there. Fantastic. All right. Okay. So there's the logic board. Um, everything looks good. Here's the screws they sent along with it. That's a good sign. Nothing's broken, thank goodness. Come on. But I don't see any apple. That's not good. Hmm. That's bad. Wait a second. This is good. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Wow. You call me? Look, it works. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It it works. Huh. Yeah. Oh, wow, that's so cool. All right. Come on. All right, so that works. Done. Close. How do I get out of roadblocks? Uh. Oh, I 
Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. So if that's doing that, then that means the internet's gotta work. Okay, here we go. All right, Roblox, yep, internet works. Ignore. Yeah, that's it. Look at that. Yeah, it's just like it was. It's all fixed. Huh. Okay. Um, should I come pick it up or should I wait? I think you're good to go. Okay. Wow. All right. I'm leaving work. I'll run by and grab it then. Okay, sounds good. <sighs> that was hard. Now, I still got to get the, the, um, the strips on here in just a second, which I'm gonna do in just a minute, but I'm gonna do that with the computer unplugged. It's so much easier to do it with it laying down and trying to do it standing up. That's the correct way you're supposed to do it. But yeah, this thing, um, it works. Uh, $59.99, several hours to repair it, a couple of mistakes. But, you know, the thing that a lot of stuff, I'm repairing a lot more stuff than replacing it. Um, a used computer, $300 to $600. A new one, $1,200 to $2,500. $59.99. This is all they need. Um, it was worth taking the chance to try to repair this first, then have him go out and buy a used computer. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. This is actually really fast because of the upgrades that I did to it with the RAM and with the uh, SSD drive. Even though it's an older computer, it really is pretty quick for what it is. But the biggest thing was at first we thought he had lost all his data. And like I said, at first I tried to repair it, fix it, realized something was dead on the motherboard or logic board, which I again think was the video card. And then it was like, oh crap, can we recover any data? And at first, that SS3D was not waking up at all. It would initialize, and then like five minutes later, it initialized, all this data was there. So then I started playing with this, and it was like, the screen's fine. The SSD is, is you know, a couple years old, but it's still a newer drive. The RAM, it's maxed out. So everything's there, except for a logic board that's bad. Okay, what are the options for a logic logic board? Now, again, several years ago, five minutes to a thousand dollars is how much it would cost to put a new logic board at one of these. Fifty nine ninety nine, man. Now, granted, if you took this to a regular computer technician, they would have probably charged three four hundred dollars in labor. Granted, but I don't mind doing this. This is this is awesome. This is awesome to see this thing up and working again. This is absolutely amazing. So thanks for coming along. Um, don't know what this video is going to edit out to be, but I hope it comes out and I hope y'all will possibly enjoy it.